So, in a way, the only thing that counts is the experience of doing it, because that's your life at that point. Yeah. And that's how you gain your time. And that's the only thing I'm in control over. What do I do with my time? So I try and make it that I, I, I do films that I like with people that I like. So I'm gonna, even though it's hard work, I'm going to enjoy the process. So in that, weirdly, the, the, the two animated things I did, what I do with Cape Tea and Mom's Christmas, were so joyful to do. A, because they're only 25 years old. But B, the, the director and the editor and the producers were so lovely. And we were all sort of very happy about every, every aspect of it. Um, yeah, that was fantastic. That was David Arnold, composer of numerous blockbuster film scores, including five Bond films, speaking to a fan at the London Film Fair. The clip was accidentally recorded while I was setting up. It was Arnold's explanation of how he picks his projects. And because he made such a good point about enjoying the experience, I wanted to leave it in despite its obvious technical shortcomings. I was there to get my Casino Royale double album sleeve signed by him. And it turned out I was far from alone in my desire to get his autograph. In fact, a member of staff I spoke to said that the queue for Arnold was the longest they'd ever seen. But finally, the big moment arrived. And imagine my surprise when the first question came from him asking about the stabilizer I was using for my camera. Is that the TZ? Six. Six? Yes. How are you getting on with it? I bought one the other day. I haven't got Bro all the mo I haven't worked out all the modes yet for the... Uh... No, and the problem is here, for example, it doesn't... It has an app that lets you yes. control all the moves. Yeah. Unfortunately, it only works when there's an internet connection and the Wi-Fi here isn't strong enough yeah, or, I'm ready. or I haven't worked it out properly. Yeah, I think you can do it with the mode thing on the front, but, okay. I, just, I, but I, haven't, I haven't figured it out yet because I found that it was like I wanted to lock it and I couldn't lock it. So, yeah, yeah, there's several yeah, modes in, here. In landscape. Exactly. Let's do this. Do you have a favorite amongst your own? Movies, compositions. I wouldn't say. I would say no as a total piece of work, but I like bits of all of them. Like I like Vesper from Casino Royale. Okay. I like How Long Bay from Tomorrow Never Dies. I like the song from The Tiger Who Came to Kill. <laughs> I like the main theme for Amazing Grace and Wing Commander. Uh, so I, I like bits, but as most. People will probably tell you they will always find fault in what they've done. Mm. So I find that being critical of what I've done is something I do every moment when I'm writing anyway. Because you have to be critical and you have to put sure. it in power. You have to decide whether or not this is good enough. Um, so I always, by the time I get there, it's like I hope no one else realizes how bad I think this is. And if I get away with it, then so much the better. Sometimes it's like you write something and you go like, yeah, no, actually, that's okay. But it takes a few years to kind of get rid of the experience of having it. And of course you evolve and then you look back on stuff you did yeah. earlier and you think, yeah. why did I would I do, do that, that differently? Yeah, exactly. yeah that's, exactly. I guess that's part of the process. Um, any chance that you're going to get concerts? Another concert? Um, Maybe even a tour? Well, we did a few gigs last year. Um, this time last year, where I was doing just songs from a film, yeah, uh, and that was great. But you realise that you're missing the entire soundtrack aspect of it. Just and when Amazon the published the um, 60th anniversary yeah, concert that we organised, the they cut out all the soundtracks and just had the songs. Yeah. So we're trying to get a kind of touring version of that together. Oh, that would be great. Um, I don't know quite how it's going to work yet. But we've been in discussion about doing it, where it's going to be songs and cues from the bomb movie. Um, because you know, I think people like it. They like those songs and they like the music and they, they'll, they'll show up for it. Yeah, um, and, and, and I think Ian are quite keen to do an official one. Because we had the screen yeah, yeah. built, you know, the gun barrel screen for the sixth year yeah. and all that amazing footage. So we've got access to all that material, which will make it special and different. Exactly. So, I think we'd like that to happen, but a lot of the times, we, you know, these things get talked about, and then yeah. something else turns up, and it doesn't get talked about again. Again, you, you remember when we were going to do mm. that? So, you know, I'm hoping we can resurrect it because it was, you know, I think it'd be a good night out. And before I incur the ire of everyone else, 
What's next? What is um, David Arnold working on now? Uh, I'm actually doing a, a, a Bond thing at the moment. I'm not allowed to say what it is. Cool. Uh, it's not the film. Uh, and um, the musical that I wrote called Made in Dagenham is getting revived. Uh, and I'm rewriting bits of that. Uh, cool. And what else am I doing? Doing some strings for a Sophie Ellis Bexter song. Uh, and I'm working on a completely unmusic related thing. Music for a very, very unmusical thing, which I think they're going to launch in November or December. But it's very unusual. And it's nothing to do with music, but I'm writing music for it. So I can't, okay. I'm going to be very elliptical about it. But I, it's, it's very interesting. It was an honor speaking to you. Thank you for signing. Yeah. Go to the toilet. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very so, you heard it here first. David Arnold is working on an undisclosed Bond project. What do you think it could be? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to shop the gear that David and I are learning to use, I put a link in the description. Before you go, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time I release a new video. And if you're interested in the London Film Fair, you can watch my video from a previous visit right here. Take care.